This video will demonstrate how to determine why accounts aren't considered deletable in Delete Account. For example, I receive a call from a district questioning why a particular Title IIA salary account is not appearing on the report, because the rest of the associated salary accounts are. In order to determine why it is not deletable, you'll want to copy the district's files to a test directory, and then delete the account they are questioning from the account IDX file. You can use Data Tree or Account Screen to do this. If they are questioning the entire cash account, you must delete all underlying accounts as well, budget, appropriation, and revenue. After the accounts are deleted, you'll run Delete Account Option 1. This will create a Delete Account Error Report. The report will display the files, transactions that the account was found on, and then these transactions need to be purged or cleaned up before the account will be considered deletable in Delete Account. So we'll go through an example. At this point, I've already copied the district's files into one of my test accounts, and I found the account, and I'm going to go ahead and delete it. At this point, it's been deleted from the system, so I'm going to run Delete Account. Option 1. You would run the Delete Account report the same way that they did um, to ensure that you're picking up the same information. So now I'm going to review that Delete Account Error Report. Here's my account in question, and this is telling me that it was found on the Payroll Account Master file. It lists the employee ID, the job, and then the pay screen counter as well. So these would need to be cleaned up before this account will be considered deletable in Delete Account. 